Well, hi there. It seems that you might need a little bit of help on accessing, navigating Google Classroom and maybe turning an assignment. Well, this tutorial is going to help you get started so that you can start using it for your class and students. So we're going to start things off where we are going to hit the plus button to join a class. And by joining the class, you need a secret code. That secret code can be found on the teacher's page, which I'm signed into right now. And they're just going to copy that and copy it over there. And then I'm going to go back over here and paste. And now I'm going to join it. Once I join the class, I'm going to have any assignments and any work set up for me. It takes me right in. I'm now, as a student, in the enrolled class. You can see that I have an assignment with a due date coming up. I can click on the assignment there. I can also get to it on my main stream, which is where all updates, assignments, and work will be shared for my teacher. Everything will appear in the stream. I can also go to the classwork page, where I can find just my assignments that my teacher has signed up for me. And it's loading up with any work, so there is my assignment right there. And I can access and view my work right there. I could see all the due dates for assignments that are coming up. Or I could see where all my work is stored in my Google Drive. And finally, in the People tab, that's where you will see the name of your teacher or any co-teachers in that class. All right, so let's turn in this assignment. We here we've got, we're in our stream, and click on this. Notice that I clicked on it. This would be the same page they would click on if you landed on the uh, classwork page. You can see the name of the assignment up here, uh, the basic instructions that were provided to the students. The class comment can be conversations between everyone to see, including the teacher and all the students. And due to the fact that the teacher made a copy for each student, they can quickly access their work there. Sometimes a student may have to add an additional file. They can always click on it that. And if they want to have any comments to and from the teacher, they can do that there. So I'm going to click on my document here. Now it has the student's name first and the name of the assignment. They're going to start to fill out their work. Just typing directly on the document. Just putting some quick info down. All right, so let's say the student is done. They will then hit Turn In on the Google Doc or the Google Slide or whatever Google document that they're in. And it's going to ask you if you want to turn it in again to verify. And I can't click on that work anymore. If I was on that student and maybe they forgot to add something, they went back to the document, they can't type on it anymore. They would have to request edit access. Alternatively, what they can do is they can go back into the Google Classroom page and they will see a button there called unsubmit. And when they hit unsubmit, they can be able to get edit rights back onto it. But let's see what things look like from the teacher point of view now that they have assignment turned in. So the teacher will go over to classwork. They can click on the assignment and they can see the work of the student by going one turned in and there's the student's name and this is their document and this is where the teacher can look over to make sure the work is correct they can give the student a grade off to the side once they know it's sufficient they can even add a private comment back and forth with the student and post that they'll see that but then the student hasn't received their grade or any info yet it's still a draft the teacher has to actually hit return and return again. You can see that's that two-time two hitting of a button to make sure everything gets saved for them. Okay, so now the teacher has returned the work. I'm going to go back to my student page and you can see now that it has been graded. There is my grade and there was a private comment between the teacher and I. I can also add in there. And then we'll go back to the teacher. Maybe you got some feedback. You can resubmit it again or you can even attach an additional file, link, whatever that needs to be uh, supporting your document. And when you go back to your homepage, you can see that there is nothing upcoming. I have submitted all my work and I'm ready for my next assignment. I can go back in that classwork page again and I can access all of my work and I can see it's been graded and I can view the assignment. So that is Google Classroom in a nutshell from the student point of view.